Alright, how's it going? It's Nefarious Yordle with another blind pick game, and we're going to be playing Elstar in this one. So, let's just take a look here at the lanes and at what's going on in this game. We have a Mundo versus Vladimir, and Vladimir actually has Ignite, so what kind of luck is that in blind pick, right? So that's pretty pretty neat. We'll see if, if he can make use of that. Um, you never know. Not gonna say that the Vladimir should win that because it's kind of generic. It's, uh, I don't know with the recent nerfs what happened to Vladimir, but I presume he should still have some advantage over Mundo. But yeah, Cleaver's hurt, so you know it's it's uh, it's possible that that could go the other way. Let's say it that way. Shaco has Flash, which is extremely bad. Like like, don't take Flash on Shaco, please. Just don't do it, mate. All right, what have I done here? All right, seems like I'm still buffering a video. Uh, yeah, it seems like it just stopped because the ping went down. Oh, okay. So this is I'm, I'm feeling rusty in this first game. Like I'm I'm already like meddling with my keyboard and mouse setup, but that's why it's always nice to do a little bit of warm up before you get going. Doesn't have to be in league. Can also be in something else like. Practice some typing, practice some mouse stuff. The, you don't like what I've found with with regards to mouse control is it's not a it's not like CS:GO, where eventually if you get good enough at the game, oh what's this Sivana doing? Oh she does a very interesting route. She does scuttler before she does the gromp and blue. I thought usually you do the blue first. I didn't know that. And now she actually goes and wards. In case the Shaco does the same or something, I, I I can't follow this. Like this is not a challenger game. They're not going to predict the Shivana out. Yeah, in all likeliness, Shaco just invades your red buff, and this happens. So that's just completely silly. Like Shivana didn't have any deep wards in the jungle, so he doesn't know what route Shaco does, and she just presumes she's going to be bot lane or something with a very shallow ward there. Alright, very funny. I didn't use my W there, because I didn't really see a good opportunity to use it. Alright, sh shake the top side still. But yeah, what a waste of a buff. Like, you can only do this route, like, if you know that you can do Drake or something. I guess if she invaded bot side, that would have made sense, but she backed off afterwards. She just warded this and then backed off. I don't understand that. Just go invade. Shaco was obviously invading your jungle. She's still almost full health. So now she went here, here, back to the blue buff, and then back to the raptors. Like, that's not efficient routing at all, so I'm really putting that into question here. Yeah, why does that champion exist is a good question. Lux is a good player, but got dicked on by the Shaco. I don't understand why we're losing this so hard. Like, I didn't look at the vein positioning, but I got both of them in the W knockup. So I could look at that right now, or I can just mate with wait with that. But yeah, that was really awkward. It seems like the Shivana is very proactive jungler. So even though I didn't understand this specific thing with the plant. And whatnot, like, and then going back, and then going back. But she clearly does have some level of understanding of the jungle because she's very proactive with the routing and invading. I guess I expected Shaco to cash in on that, but I'm not familiar enough with these uh, junglers like Shaco to actually know where they are and know what their decision making is like. So I guess I shouldn't make too many assumptions about that. So, yeah, I don't know. Very awkward. We 
we're going to be in a funny position here sooner rather than later. Alright, so Shaco has his bottom camps up and got his other side evaded, so he's going to be spamming ganks just like this. The reason I knocked, knocked him up is just for the peel. Alright, that doesn't do anything. Oh, that's that's a uh, funny feign play. But yeah, I knew that Shaco was here. It's just very hard to communicate shit with your AD carry. Yeah, they can get this. Okay. No dash means flash. Hmm. Maybe I should have flashed that earlier. I'm not sure. Yeah, rip. The problem is, like, this this guy, I had to peel for him with the WQ, <clears throat> but it was so obvious that, they, first of all, their lane pattern has been so different from what they did right there. They telegraphed that Shaco was there so hard. And besides that, the fact that Shaco has to be bot side and has to gank. He literally can't do anything else in gank because all of his top bot side camps were just cleared by him and his top side camps camps were invaded. So where else is he being is he gonna go? So that's just a bit of game knowledge, right? Like tracking the jungler and that kind of stuff. Using your brain is is, is much more important than the little mechanics on champions like marksmen that have very little I mean I guess mechanics in the mid game like there's a lot of mechanics to it and I'm not saying that marksmen are mechanically easy no not at all but I mean that in in this case there's nothing to be done positionally or whatever like it has to come from the game knowledge Okay, well, that's a funny overextend, or whatever you want to call it, like, bad back, lull. ADC doesn't back in a brush, lull. Fun fact, lull means dick in Dutch. Alright, don't want to get hooked by this guy on the turret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, this guy. Jesus Christ. What, why would you heal that? But that was so fucking easy of a dive. I can't believe she didn't go for that earlier. Alright, I like that Shivana got the kill because I have faith in Shivana more so than I have in Jinx. I died three times already, which on paper looks really bad, but we're making a comeback in this lane actually. I'm not sure if Moby Boots are the right thing to go right now. I don't I don't feel like going Moby Boots against uh, this aggressive uh, bot lane because I have to stay in this bot lane because the hard shove will just make sure that the turret is gone instantly if I don't show up. So I really do need to actually show up there. It's like if the turret's gone, and and literally like you can just freeze under the tier two and let Shivana come. What? These trades, like holy shit! These trades are so bad. Like she's now like a tumble auto away from death. Holy shit! is not good. What can I do?
I don't understand those missing things. I I I I'm I'm just confused. Like, do you expect me to fight a three one and three vein and three zero oh and three Shaco on a straight up three v three? I, I really don't think we'll win that. I guess since Shivana actually has her Blood Razor and they don't have any completed items yet, it's fairly possible that we would have won that. But I don't know. I don't think with the Thresh being half HP and literally an auto range of Shivana, literally all she did need to do is E, auto Q, auto, 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 and he's dead. Right, it takes like three seconds to kill him. So I really don't understand the reasoning behind trying to like force a play onto the guys that are literally half a lane away. Kill the Thresh, it takes a few seconds more, and then we'll do it. Yeah. This is what happens when you walk up to the lane like that. Like, back off, dude. I really have to analyze this replay because it's like, I don't know if I should communicate to this guy, like, hey, maybe you shouldn't walk up into Thresh's range. The funny thing is, I I was the one that got pulled. Yeah, true. Shivana tried, but I don't feel like her plays were correct. Like, I f she feels like a mid-diamond jungler. Someone who's got some strategies down but doesn't really apply them appropriately in all scenarios and this was just a case where the Shaco actually popped off and it actually she did need to like make those kind of ganks work like the gank in bot lane was a good example of a gank where I don't think she executed that correctly and I might be wrong but that's what I think all right this is a situation in which I can leave Jinx on her own but I want to proc some of this shit and let's be honest, there's no real gank potential in the other lanes. That's the biggest problem. Okay, so as soon as Vayn showed mid, she, she started hard shoving. I don't, I don't understand this guy's reasoning. Yeah, oh yeah, you don't have a pool ability, do you? And it's like, I already used it. And she's like, you, you, you can always like, hear her cock sort of turning and turning, like, like, click, click, like, what do I say now? Like, he already used it, like. Not sure if that's sarcasm, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that's a valid argument for not not going in hard, right? Ah, oh, fuck. <clears throat> guys? Who's guys? I'm... I'm coming in from base. I'm not sure what you mean with guys. Okay. Okay, interesting vein alt. What? <laughs> okay.
surrender vote wasn't unanimous. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten out of this game what I want to get out of it. It's like... <sighs> yeah, I, I, I need to analyze before I can comment on this further, like... There was this early fight in bot lane. We lost bot hard because, like, I tried to go for an engage and Jinx was unable, or at least Jinx did not follow up, and I'm not sure if she could have. That's kind of what I'm wondering, right? Could she have followed up, or did she just fail to? Oh, I don't have fucking Mobies, so let's get the hell out of here. Need to get a ward in this one. Cover this 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 route a lot earlier than otherwise would be possible. Ah, come on! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Try to bait that E, but just one of these little lane tactics. They they're not what I need to improve, but but it's still nice to get to know them already, right? It's like. That's always with these things. People say, oh, you have to learn these things in these order and blah, 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 blah. But the reality of the situation is you're never going to learn things perfectly in the right order. It's just not going to happen. It's always like... It's 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 uh, something... I haven't heard a lot of people say that in League. Because in League, I haven't heard any pleb coaches talk. But in real life, I've heard a lot of pleb coaches talk. People that aren't really coaches but feel like they have something to say. Those kind of people, right? Like they're like, now you get it, do it like this, and they don't, they don't know what fuck they're talking about. They're like worse than you, and and not just like they're bad in all senses of the word, right? That tends to happen a lot. Oh, see something circling around here with a bunch of boxes, probably. That's the real one, right? Slain an enemy. I was like, what? That's the real one, right? Like, isn't it? Alright. Uh, Baron isn't up yet because it's not 20 minutes. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, got him. Alright. Usually it's the other way around with Alistar. I fuck up the early game, uh, late game, and the early game is just a stomp. This game we're actually coming back from like 03 and one. We've gone two, two, and three. That doesn't sound very good, but in a losing game that's not bad. Like if you're getting destroyed, that's not terrible. Then that didn't. I, I when I was saying that I was like, that doesn't sound good at all. Alright, well, yeah, it's, uh, support is something you can go to Challenger with, and you know, you know that when, when you're playing support, it's all about that macro, it's about hitting those timing windows, being like, I know where the jungler is, I know we can go in right now. It's like, that's all what it's about. You know, like, the cow isn't very complicated mechanically. Like, you've either flash Q and then W them back, or you just WQ them, and then you start charging up your re. It's not rocket science. But, you can fuck it up. Yeah, I'm not sure if this roam is worth it. Go for it for the farm, but I don't feel like trying to sneak in a takedown is the right call here. Like, look at this, guys. Look, look at what's gonna happen here, like, if this fight extends. Alright, the vein is massively overextended. Boom, dead. That vein is really costing them the game right now. Like, that vein is not playing it well. Fucking hell. That's a really safe ward. I don't know if I should go for more aggressive ones. What? Alright, I was a little surprised by that, I have to be honest. Oh shit, now I don't have the knockout.
Oh, wow. I mean, Lux can one one cl clear the wave on her own. Goddamn, the word salad. Yeah, it's been going really swell right now. Got to look at those back timers. Like we've been playing the macro very well right now. We. That's gonna land, right? Ah, yeah, it it, it, it hit me. Well, it hit me just now. That's cool. I was like, I'm pretty sure that that should follow you, right? And then it was just waiting and waiting and waiting. All right, now is the frame rate. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Again, the vein tries to go for play. Hundredth millionth time she dies. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and get an assist. Oh, I got an assist from a heal. That minion heal passive. Minion dies, I heal you. Alright. Man, I, I I didn't see all if 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 that Jinx died to the ultimate or something I, that I didn't see or something that would have been cringy as fuck. Oh, I guess I can tank this. Yeah, sure, why not? What a bad use of that ultimate. Like, I should have just obviously if you activate your ultimate first. What? So they literally just tilted the fuck out of their minds after Vayne died seven times in a row after being fed out of her mind. What the actual fuck? <laughs> Gotta honor that Jinx for not flaming the living hell out of me. That was such a funky game though. I have no chat, that sucks dude. Yeah, not too, not too uh, convinced by the Shivana attitude. Evoist showing why she's a master tier player. What? Platinum won? 54%? Oh, she did, she didn't play rank. That's not fair. That's not like, oh, Platinum won. <laughs> yeah, the Jinx was obviously just a gold level player. Like, if she was low plat or mid plat, I would have understood as well. But beyond that, no thank you. Because she just didn't understand. First of all, she didn't seem to understand that the vein and fresh were now fat as fuck, so we just can't fight. That's some silver level shit right there. Just literally walking into them, even when they're that far ahead. And beyond that, just um, not understanding the Shaco routing, like that he had to be bot lane at the time. And she just goes in, and I have to just try and peel for her, but it's not enough. Like, that was just stupid on her part. So, yeah, that, that was just not a very good laner. Also, that level 3 engage where I literally just... Your your combo, this, like, three quarters of the health, all you need is three uh, or four auto attacks from Jinx, right? Long range, like, you already got them. And it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. So let's analyze that for a little bit. And then we'll call it a day. All right. So we start out. So I guess here, Shaco comes into the mid lane, and we know what his CS is. I don't look at how many camps he's done. But I looked that it goes to the bot lane from this, and Shivana even pings it, and I didn't notice at all. So here I go for this instant engage, and look at Jinx positioning. 
And here I actually like try to auto look at that look at this auto and he goes into the uh, into the brush and it fades away. So let's see this. We're level three, right? We've been level three. I don't understand why I didn't go back in here. Now I see like how overextended she is, and then she walks to the back, and I still go for it. Like I should should have gone for it. See here, I tried to WQ her, but I wasn't fast enough. Like here, and then I lost vision, and then I had to like sidestep. So just a little bit shaky on the mechanics. I don't know. That's that's that wasn't as 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 blunder as it looked, because if that happened much earlier with her still here. Then it would have been fine. After that, I guess if I was very lead, I would have said, "Oh, Shaco's coming, but we only have a few seconds." That's that's kind of my main mistake, not seeing that Shaco come in. And this is just her being a gold three player. Like she, she also flashes a uh, backstab. Right? It's just completely fucking stupid. It's it's just like that. That was just her walk, literally walking up in the thresh's flay range when Shaco's on the way by. And she doesn't understand either of those things. The positional aspect and the Shaco, the jungle tracking aspect. And here, I, I guess I shouldn't have done that. There's no reason for me to do that. Very nice play by Vayne. And this is just where where I'm like, fucking hell, what am I doing? I die a third time. Yeah, this one was a trade. So here we see Thresh walking into lane. And Thresh actually goes very deep on this. Which is very awkward. So here I go for the knock up. I activate my ult. And I don't really aggressively go onto the Thresh. So I guess the fact that he also went back. Yeah, his positioning is very strange that he actually like suicides back in here and my positioning where I'm trying to sort of orb walk back and forth is very strange so my I should just charged up my E and went for it full fledged but yeah all right well, and after that I actually played very well very satisfied with what happened after just the early game was very rough so very interesting, if you look at it in the replay, you really get to see exactly what happened, exactly when someone telegraphed something, and then how you responded to it. Like, I should've... Like, when a vein stepped up, it should just be an instant ward WQ, right? And that didn't happen, therefore we sort of lost that fight. Should be, oh, Shaco's gonna go on the way, I have, like, seven more seconds, WQ, ignite, E. Then we would've won that fight. Very, very interesting to see, like, how you could play this if you were a god, right, and did everything right. Alright, that's it for this one, and I will see you guys in the next one.